Well, hello there, everybody. Today is a little bit of a different day for me. And uh, as I said before, I like to keep the negative stuff out as much as possible. But uh, every once in a while, it comes across anyways. And uh, that's why I have waited so long to actually record this show. Uh, this particular show has been recorded several days after the fact and I did that on purpose to clear myself and clear my mind and and relax and uh, not have a angry attitude towards uh, the camera towards you guys I tried to keep this as a positive show and I will get I'm getting ready to tell you guys here in a minute on why it was such a negative day for me and uh, what happened was on this particular day was uh, as you guys saw on yesterday's video I uh, was at my deliveries delivery place delivery place if I can speak right I was at my delivery place and delivered uh, this morning I actually it was you know several days ago but uh, as of the video is going to be released on that day it was actually this morning uh, obviously seven days ago because my videos are seven days behind and uh, what happened was uh, delivered my load uh, and, uh, as soon as I got up that morning I got me a reload offer I checked it out and discovered that that load didn't pick up till the following day so uh, but it was also in Pennsylvania, so I quickly looked it up on whereabouts it was. And it was only, I think like 55 or 58 miles away from where I was at. And so I wasn't quite happy with that, so I uh, contacted my dispatcher and uh, asked if they didn't have another load. And they said, no, that's all we got, which I'm having a hard time believing that that's actually the case. And I'll tell you a little bit the reasoning why I do believe that that wasn't the case. And uh, what I think what happened was uh, after talking to dispatch and all that stuff, I was actually angry with dispatch. I, I really was because I had like three days to get down there and it normally would have only taken me maybe two days at the most. I could have probably done it in two days and uh, they gave me three days to get down there and then just to turn around and get me to pick up this load and go straight back home I really wanted to get some extra miles out of this trip you know and uh, I was so I was kind of angry with that and then on top of that they made me uh, sit there for 24 hours or almost you know just about 24 hours I mean uh, I delivered my load in the morning and I was only going to be able to pick the other load up on uh, the next morning and like I said it was only like 58 miles away from there so that kind of pissed me off a little bit and it just hit me the wrong way and I was not quite happy with that and I was actually threatening my dispatch to just go home and quit because I was so pissed off you know like I mean I just had a short trip the last week and again this trip again was a short trip you know and so I talked to the boss of uh, Penner International and uh, we had a good discussion there and I decided to end uh, at the end of the day I decided to stay and uh, wait for the load anyways and uh, well Anyways, here's what I think what happened is uh, they uh, had promised this customer that they were going to pick up six loads out of that place and I think they didn't have enough trucks in the area to pick up the, the, all of those loads so they were kind of holding me there to pick up that load or at least one of the loads you know and I think that's what actually ended up happening so uh, I had to pay the price to sit there and do nothing, couldn't make no money and uh, that's what I told my, my boss, you know, I'm like, or, or our, you know, Penner's boss or whatever, 
the owner of Penners, that's what I pretty much told him too, you know, like, I mean, if you guys would at least pay me for the full day sitting here, and then wouldn't be so bad, but we only get paid $15 an hour after 12 hours of sitting. So the way it works out is as soon as I send a message when I'm empty, from then 12 hours after that, they will start paying me $15 an hour until I'm loaded, or until not till I'm loaded, till I arrive at the shipper. So uh, technically I do make a little bit of money, I did make a little bit of money, but I would have made a lot more if I could have been driving a full day, and uh, I don't know, I mean, it is what it is, and uh, it happened, it happens out here in this trucking industry time to time and uh, and I understand where it's coming from and the biggest problem is right now the uh, Canadian dollar is very very low uh, I mean it's a decade decade record from what I understand that's how low it is I mean it's so low it's unrealistic unre uh, right now I mean I can't believe it's so low. I mean, it's a dollar forty-three Canadian versus one dollar U.S. Like that's unbelievable, and that has a lot to do with it because a lot of Canadians can't afford to go uh, and buy stuff from the United States right now. I mean, it's just not worth it. They may as well just buy it in Canada because uh, I mean, it's just pretty much the same price or, or almost cheaper now to buy things in Canada than it is in the United States because of the dollar right so I totally get where the, where they're coming from but uh, I pretty much didn't do a whole lot that day I uh, I went to the truck stop I didn't even film nothing I was so pissed off that I I didn't want to even turn on the camera and uh, and show you uh, my negativity I didn't think that belonged on here and figured I would just record something later on and explain a little bit on what happened and uh, so I went to the truck stop the uh, closest one I think was like 10 miles away from where I picked up the load and uh, well later on I discovered there was one closer but from what I could tell that was the closest one and so I went and parked there and pretty much spent all day there watched a few movies on my computer and put a couple of videos together I think uh, I ended up putting every single video together up to that day and uploaded well I did <clears throat> no I couldn't I couldn't even upload them up there because uh, uh, where I was Sprint didn't even have 4G internet up there they barely had 3G and that was spotty even I couldn't even really do much with that so uh, we didn't really do a whole lot the whole day pretty much took me a nap in the afternoon and watched a couple of videos and that was evening and then I made a few phone calls and that was it that was uh, pretty much my day at that time but anyways I think that's about enough of this uh, video for that day I know it's gonna be a little bit shorter and it's gonna be a little bit negative but uh, hey it's part of trucking we have to accept that it's just the way it is sometimes uh, you get lo good loads and sometimes you don't and even me sometimes I get frustrated just like anybody else I'm just human just like anybody else and I was pretty frustrated on that day and pretty mad at actually too <laughs> so I didn't want to display that on this channel so but anyways we'll catch you all tomorrow hopefully tomorrow will be a good day so with that being said, stay tuned for tomorrow and see what happens. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind.